what do you mean by erection for fitting of that plant so they have to arrange all the sub parts of that particular plant and they have to install correct that is known as erection second entry is for charging depreciation what is the entry depreciation account data to asset account when you sell the machine what is the entry bank account data to machine account or to plant account Hello everyone I am Harshita lecturer department of commerce vidyashram pu college the temple of excellence mysore my dear students today we are in the sixth session of chapter 7 that is from part b depreciation provisions and reserves so already we have discussed few of the concepts on depreciation at the same time we had solved few problems and a straight line method so let us quickly recall what we have discussed in a previous session So in a previous session I have covered this topic that is 12 marks problem on the straight line method that is calculation of depreciation and the straight line method and this is very important for 12 marks and today we are going to discuss last problem on straight line method after that we are going to continue with one more method that is written down value method so go through the last problem here on 14 2013 so on 14 2013 santosh company limited purchased a plant so they have purchased a plant costing rupees 85000 and spent rupees 15000 for its erection so what they have done they have purchased a plant worth rupees 85000 now what is the purchase price of the plant so purchase price purchase price is equal to rupees 85000 again what they have done they have spent rupees 15000 for its erection now what do you mean by erection for fitting of that plant so they have to arrange all the sub parts of that particular plant and they have to install correct that is known as erection so for which they have spent so add erection so how much they have spent that is rupees 15000 therefore the original cost what is the original cost of the plant so original cost is equal to rupees 1 lakh so this will be the original cost of that particular plant hope you are clear this on 31 3 now let us see the problem once and we shall record all the dates On thirty first three two thousand fifteen, the plant was sold for rupees seventy five thousand. Now they have purchased for rupees one lakh, and they have sold for rupees seventy five thousand. Now by seeing the sentence itself, we cannot tell that they have sold on loss, but we have to deduct the depreciation as earlier problem what we did, and we have to see whether it is profit or loss on sale of plant. Now time being, remember they have sold it for rupees seventy five thousand. On one four two thousand fifteen, a new plant was purchased for rupees fifty thousand. Now, after selling the old plant, that is, we shall take it as plant one. After selling that, they have purchased a new plant worth rupees fifty thousand. The firm charges depreciation at ten percent per annum. Now, what is the rate of depreciation? Ten percent under straight line method. They are going to charge the depreciation under straight line method. Accounts are closed on thirty first March every year. So, all the financial year ending will be thirty first March. Prepare plant account and depreciation account for the first. Four years. So, in the sense, we have to prepare a table of dates for first four years. Now, we shall start with one four two thousand thirteen when the first plant was purchased. So, one four two thousand thirteen. What is the year ending? Thirty first. Next March will be the year ending. That is thirty first three two thousand fourteen. Next year beginning is one four two thousand fourteen to thirty first March two thousand fifteen. Next one four two thousand fifteen to thirty first March two thousand sixteen. One four two thousand sixteen to thirty first March two thousand seventeen. So this will be our financial year where we have to prepare account that is plant account and depreciation account. Now in between these dates, let us see what has happened. So one four two thousand thirteen, the company has purchased a plant worth rupees one lakh, that is eighty five thousand plus fifteen thousand. So they have purchased a 
plant 1. So, we shall take it as P1, plant 1, okay, for rupees 1 lakh. On 31st year 2015, in the first year, it doesn't come. In the second year, that is on 31st year 2015, the plant was sold. Here, they sold the plant. Which plant? Plant 1, okay, for rupees 75,000. And 1 for 2015, that is next year beginning. So, here they purchased a new plant. Let us take it as P2, plant 2, for rupees how much? 50,000. And we have to calculate depreciation at 10%. So, this is a problem. Hope you have understood the problem. So, my dear students, first you have to understand the problem. Then you can go on solving the problem. Okay, so this is a problem. Now, first what you have to do? You have to prepare plant account. Later, that is when they have sold, that is in the second year, we shall see whether they have sold on profit or loss. Till then, we have to calculate the depreciation for that particular plant. Now, go through the first year. Okay. So, first, we shall discuss this later, that is in the second year. Now, come here. So, first, we are going to prepare the plant account. So, you know the journal entry, we have solved lot of problems on this straight line method and you know the journal entry. What is the first journal entry? That is purchasing of asset. What is the entry? Asset account data to bank account. Second entry is for charging depreciation. What is the entry? Depreciation account data to asset account. Third entry is for transfer of depreciation to profit and loss account. Your entry will be profit and loss account data to depreciation account. We have already discussed in the problem. Okay, same journal entry you have to follow here also. Okay, so now 1 for 2013. So 1 for 2013, they have purchased the first plant. What is the cost of first plant? 1 lakh, correct? So how to record? 1 for 2013, 2 bank account, that is plant 1, 85,000 plus 15,000. So, the total value of the plant is 1 lakh. Hope you are clear with this, that is purchase of plant. Now, if you see the first year and you know the format, correct? We have Your format remains same as your ledger only, that is debit and credit side. And you know the rule also, we have to record or we have to draw the format as it is. And don't forget to write this debit as well as credit. The first entry is done that is for purchase of plant. Now coming to the next one. In the first year nothing has happened. They have not sold the machine. At the same time they have not purchased a new machine. Now since they have purchased at the beginning of that particular financial year that is in the first year depreciation has to be calculated for the whole year. So always depreciation is calculated when at the end of each year. So now for first year we have purchased the machine. Now we have to record entry for charging depreciation. So how to record 31st 3 2014 that is end of first year by depreciation account that is on first plant. Now what is the value of depreciation? You have to calculate on the original cost. Original cost is 1 lakh into what is the percentage? They have given 10%. So, how much it is? 1 lakh into 10% that is 10,000. Now, we have to balance both the side and the balancing figure has to be carried down for the next year. Now, balance here. Debit side is 1 lakh. Whereas, credit side is how much? Only 10,000. Correct? So, write 1 lakh both the side. Minus 10,000 will get a balancing figure of 90,000. Okay. So, what is that? 31st rate 2014 by balance carried down 90,000. Hope you are clear with the first year. Now, how to begin your second year? Whatever the amount you have carried down here, bring down that balance. So, balance at the beginning of next year, 1 for 2014, two balance brought down how much? 90,000. Hope you are clear. Whatever the amount you have carried down here, at the beginning of next year, you have to bring down the balance. So, how much it is? 90,000. Now, go through the second year. What happens? In the second year end, they have sold the machine. In the sense, in the second year, we have to calculate depreciation for that particular plant. Okay. So, not machine, it is a plant. So, in the second year, we have to calculate depreciation for that particular plant. Then we have to sell the machine. Then we have to record entry for profit or loss on sale of plant. Okay. Now, go through the entry first. We have bought down the balance 
and this plant was there for the whole year. So we have to calculate depreciation. 31st three 2015 by depreciation account, we are going to calculate on the original cost. Why? Because it is a straight line method. So we are going to calculate on the original cost. Original cost of plant 1 is 1 lakh into 10%. So we are going to calculate for the whole year because this particular plant was there for the whole year. So how much it is? 10,000. Now at the end what they have done? They have sold that machine. Now for what amount they have sold the machine? They have sold it for 75,000. They have sold it for 75,000. Correct? So we have to record entry for this. So record entry 31st 3, 2015 by bank account because your entry is when you sell the machine. What is the entry? Bank account that are two machine account or two plant account. Here you are selling the plant. So by bank account sale of first plant. So what is the price? So they have sold it for 75,000. Now we know a first plant is sold for 75,000 but we have to check whether they have sold on profit or loss. For this we have to calculate this profit or loss on sale of first plant. Now cost of the first plant what is the original cost we have calculated it as rupees 1 lakh less total depreciation. So this plant was there for the two years two whole years it was there correct. So first year what was the depreciation? 10,000. Second year also the depreciation was 10,000. So minus that depreciation. So minus first year depreciation minus second year depreciation. So the total depreciation is 20,000. So 1 lakh minus 20,000 it is 80,000. So this is the actual value of the plant in the second year. But at what price they have sold? So less selling price, they have sold at 75,000 in the sense what actual cost was 80,000 but they have sold for 75,000 in the sense what 5,000 is loss, correct? So therefore loss on sale of plant is how much? 5,000. So where do we record the loss? What is the journal entry? Loss on sale of plant to plant account, correct? So your entry will be by loss on sale of first plant that is 31st 3, 2015 on the date of selling the plant we have to record the entry. So here in this problem they have sold at the end of the second year. So by loss on sale of first plant what is the loss? 5000. Hope you are clear with this. Now we are done with the second year. So what happens? After that nothing had happened in the second year. So they have just sold the plant. Next year beginning they have they will purchase a new plant that is plant 2. For 2 years these are the entries. Okay. Now balance both the side in the debit side it is 90,000. Whereas in the credit side it is also 90,000. Okay. First year depreciation along with that second year depreciation also we have calculated because in the second year the machine was there for the whole year. So second year depreciation again at what price they have sold again what is the loss they have incurred. So both the side will tally that is 90,000. Now come to the third year. In third year what happens they have purchased a new plant. Now what is the worth of new plant they have purchased for how much 50,000. So this is the worth of new plant and they have purchased at the beginning of third year only. Now come to the ledger account 1 for 2015 two balance brought down but nothing is there to bring down the balance because both the side tallied in the second year. So we will record it as nil. Now for purchasing of new plant that is plant 2 when did they purchase 1 for 2015 that is at the beginning of third year only. So 2 bank account cost of second plant. So what is the cost they have purchased for rupees 50,000. Now in the second year nothing has happened. So they have just purchased a plant and it was there till the last year. Okay. So we have to calculate depreciation for third year also for this second plant and for fourth year also for the second plant. So how to record 31st 3, 2016 by depreciation account. Now what is the cost of second plant? 50,000 into 10% that is 5,000. 
Next, balance both the side, balancing figure has to be carried down. So, in the debit side it is 50,000, whereas in the credit side it is only 5,000. So, 50,000 minus 5,000 will get a balancing figure of 45,000. So, what is that? 31st 3, 2016 by balance carried down 45,000. Now, come to the next year because they have asked us to prepare for 4 years. So, this is the 4th year, 1 4 2016. Whatever the amount you have carried down in the previous year, that is end of the previous year, you have to bring down the balance at the beginning of next year. That is 1 4 2016, 2 balance brought down, what is the amount? That is 45,000. And in the 4th year also, this plan 2 was there for the whole year. So, we have to calculate depreciation for whole year. So, 31st 3, 2017, buy depreciation account. And here we are going to calculate on the original cost. What is the original cost? 50,000 into 10 percent that is 5,000. Hope you are clear. Now balance both the side. In the debit side it is 45,000. Whereas in the credit side it is only how much? 5,000. So 45,000 minus 5,000 will get a balancing figure of 40,000. So what is that? 31st day 2017 that is end of fourth year by balance carried down 40,000. Now how to wind up your plant account? Always remember if they asked for four years, how to wind up? You will record entry for all the four years. Next you will bring down the balance in the fifth year and you have to wind up the problem. That is 1 4 2016 that is end of next year. So two balance brought down how much? 40,000. Hope you are clear with this. Okay. Now coming to the next one, we shall prepare depreciation account. So you know about depreciation account. So what are the entries we have to record? One is for charging depreciation. What is the entry? Depreciation account data to asset account. Here the asset is plant. Other one is transfer of this depreciation to profit and loss. So, profit and loss account data to depreciation account. So, only two entries will be there in your depreciation account. Now, come to the first year and you know always depreciation is calculated at the end of each year. Now, coming to the end of first year, 31st day 2014, what is the entry? Depreciation account data to plant account. What is first year depreciation? You have to see your plant account. So, see the plant account. What is first year depreciation? 10,000. So, record that 10,000, 10,000. Now, this 10,000 has to be transferred to profit and loss account 31st 3, 2014 by profit and loss account 10,000. So, both the side will tally. Hope you are clear. In the same way for all the four years, you have to record the entries. Now, come to the second year. What is second year depreciation? Again, it is 10,000. So, how to record? 31st 3, 2000. That is next year 15 to plant account 10,000. Again, 31st day 2016 by profit and loss account. 31st day 2015 by profit and loss account 10,000. So, both the side will be 10,000. Now, come to the next year. What was next year? Third year depreciation was 5,000. Fourth year depreciation is also 5,000. Okay. Now, third year is 31st day 2016. How to record? To plant account 5,000. 31st day 2016 by profit and loss account 5000. So both the side will tally. In the fifth year also depreciation is 5000. 31st day 2017 to plant account 5000. And 31st day 2017 by profit and loss account 5000. Hope you are clear with depreciation account. So this is a problem relating to straight line method. So we shall stop the straight line method. In my next session, we shall continue with one more method of calculating depreciation that is written down value method or it is also called as diminishing balance method. So in my next session, I'm going to calculate depreciation under written down value method or it is also called as diminishing balance method. And my dear students, from this chapter, definitely you will get a 12 marks problem on calculation of depreciation. They might ask on straight line method or on written down value method. Only slight difference you have, all the entries will be same, but the calculation of depreciation will be different from one method to another method. So, in my next session, we shall discuss with written down value method. Hope you are clear with today's problem. 
my dear students hope you understood the problem see you all in my next session with a new problem that is under written down value method till then take care thank you